y'all are finally free and then y'all go enslave some more people the niggas pulled up to your planet beat your ass and say hey look i got a job for you nigga i was your teacher i just left you for dead that's all he's getting left for dead one time and just start switching up huh ultra vegeto finally meets ultra gogeto so our story continues with ultra vegeto staring in deep thought at the space that once occupied frieza the emperor of universe 7 just after erasing him from existence now in his place are just the final fragments of dust that once made up the frost demon of the namek saga <clears throat> But also standing watching the same spot is the nothing short of stunned and speechless King Vegeta, who can only think to himself, Frieza, he's gone. This isn't a dream. We're free. We're finally free. We're finally free. Enough, <laughs> his attention is turned to the strange assailant in the yeah. room with him, who he can only assume is on his side as he asks, Young warrior, you've managed to do what our people have dreamed of doing for decades. Tell me, who are you? Are you one of my men? I can't help but feel I've he seen you somewhere. Man, but he's one of your but men. who almost channels the Vegeta side of himself, quickly turns his he head and goes back. You, no, I'm not one of your men. But I guess I'm a Saiyan. You the are Saiyan, a Saiyan. You sent off to an innocent planet to take over. And I'm also the Saiyan that just saved your entire planet from being wiped off the face of the U. And you're also his son? You just gonna tell him about the Goku side? That's it? Universe. So I'd say you owe me a little favor. The king hearing this is more than thrilled. His suspicions over Frieza's killer being a Saiyan finally confirmed as he roars back ecstatically. <laughs> I knew it. Of course, power like that had to come from our elite yeah, it's warrior race. through our veins. Yes, the warrior, yes, the elite saved warrior us, my race. Friend. I am completely indebted to you. You must know just how long we have been utterly enslaved by that monster. First by King Cold, and then by his even worse son. Name your prize, Saiyan. Any planet you desire will be yours to rule over. Then That's women, crazy. All yours to do as you please. <laughs> so we about we about to after y'all free we just about to go ravage another planet like we about to go enslave another planet like <laughs> slave like y'all slaves and then y'all take y'all are finally free and then y'all go enslave some more people <laughs> that's the most insane shit ever bro <laughs> but instantly on hearing this an angry scowl appears across the face of vegeta thoroughly unimpressed with the king's response as he replies Listen, old man, if I wanted a planet, do you really think I'd need a weakling like you to get it? All right, he what just get it himself. You can just turn up at any planet uninvited and take it for yourself. Right. How does that make you any different from, from him? Right. Called Freezer. That makes y'all hypocrites. You may be mortal, but you're just as bad. Like, if anything, you, you should have said, bro, listen, and look, I give you a good time on my planet. We'll get you some women, some drinks, food. You always welcome. That would have been more than enough. Or, hey, what do you need us to do for you? Mr. Ultra Vegito, what, what do you need us to do for you? You know what I'm saying? Can we do anything for you? Can we appease you? This nigga said, yeah, we'll go enslave another planet. You freed us, but we'll just go enslave another planet and give it to you. Like, that's cool, right? <laughs> that's good, right? You good? Gods. <gasps> the gods? Which immediately leaves the king once again stunned in fear. As he too senses the change in atmosphere, but doesn't quite realize. But you're just as bad as the gods. Yeah. <gasps> the gods? Which immediately leaves the king once again stunned in fear. But Ultra Vegito ain't no better though. doesn't quite realize what he had said wrong. After all, weren't all Saiyans at this time bloodthirsty warriors? He didn't kill conquerors. innocent people too. But it's not long before Vegito then goes on to coldly explain what he truly desires. Saying, What I want, no. What I command you to do is never set foot on another planet again. Okay. Your days of plundering and stealing other planets is over. Yeah. Freezer's tyranny has ended. And so you have no reason anymore. Mm -hmm. Being a warrior race is no excuse. I, I, I wouldn't say that. Because, like, King Cole could come back anytime and then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do y'all niggas a doozy. You feel me? Like, he could really do y'all niggas up. You know what I'm saying? Put y'all right back into slavery. So, if anything, he need to build them a pyramid chamber or something like that. He need, he need to tell them get that... <laughs> I don't, well, I don't know if telling them to get their gains up is good either because then they might just not listen to you and go and slay planets again. And then next thing you know, they'll be King Code and Frieza. You know, they'll be just like them. Rid of your damn tails that make you lose control in the moonlight and stick to yourselves from now on. Fight for good. Defend the weak who can't protect themselves from the likes of Frieza. That's Break crazy. The Aren't they taught them to don't cut their tails? The same way he did to you. Yeah, don't explain. What? That's absurd. Of course, immediately after hearing this, the king can barely even believe what he oh just heard. God. And from a fellow Saiyan, no less, as he responds back. I'm really what hoping Ultra Vegeta won't Remove have to kill his own race. Are you sure you're a Saiyan? That is the source of our power. For millennia, we have had them. We have these specifically for taking over planets. No yeah. population alive. But it holds y'all back, though. More. Like, their tails are back. We are forcing us anymore. But traveling to other planets to take them over is how we survive. 
His face then changes to one of confusion as he continues. Young man, you do know our very planet itself, now called Vegeta, was once called Planet Plot until we came. Planet planet planet. Takeover is steeped in the same way. I'm afraid I cannot honor your request. I mean, bro, he should have told him to look fine, Namek. You know, that's not a good idea either because they find Namek and then they're going to try to get the Dragon Balls. They're going to do evil stuff with the Dragon Balls, which that would be an interesting storyline. Like if somebody made a what if Planet Salada, S S Planet Vegeta took over Planet Namek or enslaved Planet Namek, that would be crazy. Get their Dragon Balls and everything. I will not give up the power or the tradition of my people. <laughs> But Vegito, hearing this, is completely unwavered in his demands, saying, Yes, I know that already, King. After you fools destroyed Planet Zadala. And how exactly did you do that? By transforming in mass to those Uzaru beasts, destroying the very planet that was your own. God destroyed Zadala. your own planet? Oh, you know about that. Only the sane elite should know that information. I thought Sadala was the planet in, in, in the other universe, the, the sister universe, Choppers. King Vegeta remains surprised. Vegito turns around quickly and continues, but fine, if you're so adamant on not changing, then I guess there's no hope for you or the rest of your people. If power is what you seek, then allow me to show you what true power is. Oh god, he about to... No, not the Hakai! No, he's not gonna Hakai his own people! He brings a flat palm towards the king's face in almost an identical way to how Oh no, he gon' he gon' show him. He gon' show him and give him visions. Erasing him forever. Wait, no! What is it? But instantly, within the mind of King Vegeta, we then see what Vegito oh, okay. was truly doing. As okay, rushing through, okay. in an instant, are the memories Shut and up. knowledge of each of the Super Saiyan forms. Yeah. From Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, mm. God, and then finally Blue. Yeah. Abruptly, King Vegeta then drops to his knees. Like, that's way strong. <sighs> that, that was the true power of the Saiyans? Yeah. That is what we are capable of! Mm -hmm. Leaving the role Saiyan That is mind-blowing right now. As his body begins to profusely sweat. As he takes He's like, we can do that? <laughs> Whoa, where, where, where do we get this now from? What he wanted to do walks away as he places two fingers on his forehead, readying his instant transmission until he finally lets out one final command to Vegeta. Remember what I said, old man. I'll be sure to check in on you one day. But one one day. more thing before I go. In around 40 years from now, Beerus will be I'm back in, uh, and he'll be looking for a Super Saiyan God. Yeah, Don't so you one of y'all better have a Super Saiyan over God. You again. Use what I showed you to full effect, or you will regret it. Dang, this is going to be so fire because this is a good setup, bro. So if they come back and then Beerus, ha Beerus sees they're all Super Saiyan gods, he's going to be like, oh, okay, I can have a pick of the litter. But he could also be pissed, you know what I'm saying? He could also be pissed. But at the same time, this also could set Ultra Vegito up to where he has an army to fight against Zeno. That is crap, bro. I'm telling you, the storyline really could just go anywhere. It could go anywhere right now. It really could go. He could do anything with this story, bro. This nigga, this, like, I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually making the story go crazy. Like, the plot is going dummy right now. For like the past three episodes, this nigga has been like, I know, I know his like house had to be on fire, bro. <laughs> I know this nigga was burning down his neighborhood right in this bitch. <laughs> and just like that, that before then eventually reappearing outside because he said he's he coming back to check on his him hand out one day stop a certain speeding safe space Ouch! but once the space boy reaches a complete halt on the palm of vegeto's hand we can see exactly who's inside. and it's none other than the oh, young goku. kakarot otherwise known as our hero goku who had just been sent off to earth by his parents in hopes of saving his life he looked five uh, why he don't look like a baby dad the young Damn. Saiyan, who still has tears on his eyes from his premature goodbye to his family, just wonders who the strange red tinted character he can see outside the thick crimson glass of the pod is. But Vegito, looking down with a smile, recognizing himself, just says assuringly, <laughs> Oh, Kakarot, you didn't change much at all when you grew up, did you? It's like looking at Goten all over again. Aww. Sit tight, little one. This time, you won't need to bump your head. And just like that, Vegito vanished. Oh, he just once again. him. Then appearing finally back on the ground of what is presumably Planet Wait. Vegeta. He put him back on Planet Vegeta? Watch on from afar. As one of them oh. says, Hey, Bardock, look over there. Gine? The Gine so fine, bro. Like, she really a baddie, bro. Gine really a baddie, bro. Like, we need more of Gine, bro. You know what I'm saying? We need her. We need, I swear to God, we do. I want. I just want to know more about her character, bro. Who she is as a person. She seems so chill, soft, kind, and nice. No, I'm, I'm telling you, Bardock didn't deserve her, bro. Duo are. As they reveal I really he was abusing Bardock her. And Gine, the mother and father of Goku. As pure confusion comes over their faces as they see their son, who they just sent off, seemingly back now with a strange. Train that nigga to be a Super man. Saiyan God. He need to find Broly too. Kakarot, what the hell is going on here, Gine? I. I don't know. He's like Kakarot and Kakarot? Vegito, though, is left equally confused at who the two Saiyans looking at him are, thinking, 
Who are they? Wait, that man? Isn't that Kakarot's? Huh. Before eventually, a smile comes across the few Saiyans' face, but he finally realizes the unmistakable resemblance between Bardock and Goku. Yeah. As he lets out, and he so. Look at that hair! That's Kakarot all over! So that's my mother. Go figure. She reminds me of Chi Chi. I don't know about hey, that. Don't, know. don't, don't, don't ever compare Gine to Chi Chi, alright? That Chi Chi is a stupid bitch. <laughs> Gine is wholesome. <laughs> At least in my brain canon she is, in my, in my own head canon she is, nigga, I don't refuse. She probably, you know what I'm saying, has some anger issues, but no, I, I don't I don't look at her like Chi-Chi, fuck that. I hope she's nothing like Chi-Chi, I hope she's like her own nice character, you know, loving, compassionate, a mother who would kill for her children and not enslave people. And with their identities figured out, they're confident Vegito, then quickly, and without warning, shouts out to them, while at the same time opening up a new time portal. And as Vegito leaves, with comedically just half his body sticking out, and with a big grin, he says, Just to let you two know, Freezer is dead, and your plan is safe. Is dead. Young Kakarot doesn't need to be sent off. Take care of him, okay? He's going to be a real surprise. A heck of a lot more than Raditz, at least. Yeah, Raditz <laughs> Goodbye, mother, father. Before finally, Did they hear the mother, father? <sighs> but of course, that final line leaves the young mother more confused than anything now. Did she hear it? She really heard it? Husband. Bardock, did he just call us... Mom, yeah. oh, oh, now, back with Vegito, the time so portal opens in yet another unknown time. Hard, and the Saiyan bro. softly steps out with a thumb. She's like my son. <laughs> on a crumbled and battle scorched ground. That's a Boma like moment right there. With clouds nearby. But Boma was more horny though, like when she seen Trunks. Like she was kind of like my son. What the? <laughs> and as the scene zooms out, we finally observe that Vegito is oh, back no, on Earth, got standing on a calmish lookout that has seen better days. Vegito looks around carefully. But notices something is definitely off. That's what it got, isn't it? This nigga been like 36 times. It looks lines. like the time rings took me exactly where I wanted. This has to be the universe I left Goku and Vegeta to battle Beerus in. Oh. Uh, looks like the Earth is still intact, so at least there's that. Then surely, that means that they found a way to win. Hopefully. <laughs> they must have underestimated how I don't know, that temple looked kind of beat up. Me. But if that's the case, where are they then? I don't even sense Dende or Popo. Oh no. Vegeta is still wandering, then moves down slowly over to the edge of the lookout, looking down onto the Earth. Before he then closes his eyes and begins trying to sense the presence of either of the two Saiyans. Why wouldn't you just look while, at the Earth first? he realizes... No! There's nothing. Vegito, now forlorn and filled with a feeling of regret, realizes that neither Goku nor Vegeta's energies remain anymore on Earth. Mm. And realizing this, sulks internally. They aren't Dang. on this plane anymore. I was foolish to believe they were ready for him. But I needed to get back to my mission. Beerus must have destroyed them in the end. Man, I don't crazy. understand. Why is Earth still here? Okay, so the Earth is still be there. saved by those two freaks in every timeline just for its food? I would have put it past them. But whatever happened to Gogeta, I guess that'll just be one more question I ask Beerus about. And with that said, Vegeta then places two fingers on his forehead and looks to his right, trying to lock on to a certain deity, whispering, I'm coming for you, Beerus. Beerus. Before then immediately vanishing once more to a location we can all guess. Eventually arriving on a familiar divine planet with an even more familiar set of legs and dress that than like in Huh? And who just might you be? As is revealed, of course, to be the angel attendant of Universe 7, Whis. Okay. But not soon after questioning Vegito, the angel and all his wisdom begins to put things together and things inside. Wait a minute, a mortal knowing the location of the gods. And there's no doubt, he seems a Saiyan in stature. Mm -hmm. Could this be? But the impatient Vegito, who hasn't got time to be waiting for Whis's approval, just yells out commandingly, Whis! Cut it out with that silent treatment! I'll tell you who I am in due time, my friend! In due but time, first, friend. you tell me where your damn destroyer is! I have a bone to pick with that cat. Okay. Especially after what you two did to Son Goku and yeah, Vegeta. Yeah, yeah, you still gotta get revenge on that. I remember now. You're the one who was with Gogeta-san when we first arrived on Earth, aren't you? Where's Gogeta? Of course you are. Look at those time rings on your right hand, and even those angel-grade Watara too. Hmm. Curious. Feel like you just been running amok. I'm up. glad you've come, because I'm sure the god of destruction of this universe would like to have a word with you too. You should be ready just about now. And just like that, we still tap the end of his staff into the ground. In a similar fashion, I like how it's a gong. Reverse time. But instead, this time, immediately, the Pyramid of Power is summoned right God, before dang, everybody got a Pyramid of Power. It's still closed, but clearly, a menacing energy already begins to emanate from it. Oh, that nigga Gogeta and they're the going crazy. The door then slowly opens, and a figure shrouded in what seems dark electricity comes out. But it's too far for our eyes it's to decipher whether it is truly Beerus until... Yeah. <laughs> Was that 40 yeah, years already, Whis? 
I guess now that I can't age anymore, time will never feel the same. They can't age. And suddenly, it is revealed to be an ultra Gogeta. That, that nigga looking clean and cocky, dog. though. Ominous electricity we once thought was synonymous with only Gogeta. Okay, okay. Oh, this, this nigga's a god now? This nigga's a god? <laughs> what? Who is that? It's like looking into a mirror. No, wait. That couldn't be them, could it? <laughs> While Gogeta just smirks at his old training partner and replies, Oh, it's me, Vegito. Just a little different. Okay, you so know, where is Beerus? Just stronger than you now. Okay, see, see, now you're getting cocky, Vegito game. quickly, though, manages to calm himself. You're now more bewildered by Gogeta's game. appearance rather than his energy as he asks, Well, that misplaced confidence definitely tells me this is right. you, right, Gogeta. Well, what's with the new look? Trying to copy my style? <laughs> Trying to copy my old, style? That red hair and fur was starting to grow on me, you know. Red hair and fur? <laughs> But Gogeta, who is wait, 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 wait. So do he he really got the purple and silver now? This nigga went ultra ego? Very much enjoying the interaction, just folds his arms and replies, Me overconfident? I must have picked that up from you. But then again, I'm not the same man you trained with earlier, and I'm nowhere near as naive. Can you really not figure out why I look this way now? For 40 years now, I've been trained, both separately and together. Separately and, and together. Gogeta. Now that I have risen to the rank of God of Destruction, I no longer age. I can train for as long as I want and as much as I want. Okay. The same dream, you could say. And in that so where's time, Beerus? We mastered all the same forms you showed us in the hyperbolic time chamber. From God to even blue and further beyond. <laughs> the fuck is further beyond? Something beyond Ultra Ego? What's, what's further beyond? This nigga didn't went Buzz Lightyear on us? What the fuck? Hearing this, Vegeta appears almost impressed. This nigga got a Buzz Lightyear for him. replying, Oh! So you did defeat that damn cat after all. What a shame. I had some business with him. But I guess it's no surprise when you managed to master the god forms and on your own, no less. You have no idea the kind of hurdles we had to go through to do the same. <laughs> Kakarot needed five other saints, for God's sake. Well, for oh, starters, so they... he wasn't oh, on his yeah. own. And what business do you have with me, Saiyan? <gasps> that voice! As suddenly, a powerfully deep voice from behind Gogeta calls out, instantly Beerus. triggering something deep inside Vegeta. So all three of them niggas As he looks beyond Gogeta and yells out, Who was that? Show yourself now! <laughs> my, my. Now that is no way to talk to a former god. <laughs> to a former god. <laughs> to a former god. Beerus, still alive and surprisingly also coated in the same ominous black lightning of Gogeta Man, I'm not surprised he's alive. As Gogeta smirking and looking to his apparent training partner, then says, I'm curious to know how they beaten Beerus nice yet, entrance, though. Lord Beerus. But I was hoping to surprise him later. He seems to be under the impression I defeated you. That would have oh, been fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not even in your dreams, kid. Yeah. <laughs> but Vegito, meanwhile, is far from being. So basically, insane. they fought, and he just gave him a proposition. He was like, "Listen, I got a job for you." <laughs> hey, nigga got his ass beat. Nigga pulled up to your planet, beat your ass, and say, "Hey, look, I got a job for you, though." <laughs> I had to whoop your ass first, but I got a job for you, my gang. <laughs> Jovial mood as the other two gods. As instantly, he swings his arms back and readies himself to attack, yelling, Beerus, you're still alive. Perfect. Now it's time you told me the truth. And don't worry, this time, I'll mean it when I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you haven't changed a bit, Vegito. <gasps> as suddenly, in a shock twist, Ultra Gogeta then appears instead right in front hey, of the shot. Vegito. defending Beerus? From getting any closer to the former destroyer, as he says, and just what are you trying to do now, Vegito? I don't think me and you are done with our reunion yet. <laughs> what are you doing? Leaving Vegito not only angered, but also puzzled as to go- I mean, you did leave that nigga for dead, so like, it's kind of like, why would he be on your side right now? So, you know, like, we ain't gonna act like you ain't just leave that nigga for dead, low-key. Vegito's confidence to get in his way, as he responds, Get out of my way, Gogeta! I don't want to hurt you, but you know I will if I have to. You're protecting the wrong guy here! Remember who I am! That monster has done more to you than you know. If you give me a second, I'll make him admit it in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> he's done to this all of us. Vegeta, though, seemingly sparks the interest of Gogeta. He replies, but it's not quite clear if he's being sarcastic or not, saying, Really? Lord Beerus a monster? Tell me more, why don't you? And then maybe I'll think about letting you attack my teacher. Nigga, I'm your teacher too! <laughs> Vegeta, this, the the fuck, nigga, I was your teacher! I just left you for dead, that's all! <laughs> Hey, niggas, niggas get left for dead one time and just start switching up, huh? <laughs> and, he, and indeed begins explaining the truth of Beerus, saying, Let's start off with teacher. <laughs> what a lie that was. Would a teacher be the one responsible for the complete annihilation of your home planet and species? Fuck yeah. yes. That wasn't just Freezer. 
but instead, Beerus himself, who gave him the go-ahead. Mm -hmm. He's the one who commanded Planet Vegeta's destruction. Mm -hmm. And the worst part about it, it was just so you could become what you are now. So you could become the damn next god of destruction. Yeah. I don't blame you, but you didn't know when you played right into his trap. Do you understand? Imagine he already For told him, like Beerus signs. already told him. Takes on the like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Not after I just beat your ass. I got a proposition for you. I need you to be the god of destruction. Also, killed your whole planet. Um, Mom popped who sent you off. You know what I'm saying, Goku? I'm not going to lie. You're supposed to be dead, too. That was, a mis that was a mistake. Mistakes happen. But you know what I'm saying? This mistake created a situation that's even better than I could have imagined. So, like, that's a win-win for me. <laughs> Nigga, you, you you lost yo you lost your family, but like that's a weird weird for me. I'm out of a job now. I can I can sleep all day, you know what I'm saying? Eat food all day, go travel to planet to planet. I ain't gotta blow planets up no more if they food tastes bad. <laughs> Nigga, I can just I can just you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This this a solid this a solid team, right? You know what I'm saying? I think what I did is amazing. I just did us all a favor. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're great! You really are too good at making these fictional stories up. Okay, so he oh, doesn't believe you. Fool me once, shame on you. But fool me twice, shame on me. And I'm not falling for this bullcrap anymore. And with a stark change in expression, Dojita then goes on with a serious look. Like, square Isn't up right now, now nigga. What happened to that other lie you told me? Yeah, Manaka. Uh, being called Manaka. Remember that Mijito? How yeah, that he was a demon who destroyed nigga. your version of Earth in your timeline. You know, when I told Beerus about that, he actually gave me the pleasure of meeting the real Monarcha in person. What a nice guy he truly was. I was As you say, can you imagine, the shit that, out of him. things didn't quite add up in the story you told me. Got anything to say about that, friend? <laughs> <sighs> but Vegito, hearing how he Shouldn't had just been caught out of his bro. lies, instantly looks dejected. Defeated mentally before anything, as he looks at the ground with gritted teeth. I, I low-key kind of forgot why he even lied to him about that junk, because it's like, bro, like... Not that the story then came this far. It's like, bro, you probably shouldn't even have lied to him. Like, it was, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if you wouldn't have lied to him, then your story would add up way more now. It would just make sense everything what you about to tell him. And he would be looking at Beerus like, nigga, is that true? Like, you trained me and everything, but like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? And just grumbles. Damn it. That's why you should no, always tell the that. truth, man. That's not what I meant. I, I can explain, nah, Gogeta. You meant that shit. <laughs> Said, that man. He powers up, his full power on display within his ultra form. But I guess he really wasn't lying though about Beerus being a, you know what I'm saying, a, a demon evil person, because technically that is evil. As he steps into the iconic fighting position of Son Goku himself, yelling out, No explanation needed right now. You're a Saiyan, right? So we'll talk this out the only way we Saiyans know how. Yeah, with fist of cuffs. Sound good to you, Vegito? <clears throat> what power? But, this is he hit you already? Vegito, reacting to go he didn't even power, see it coming. He can only cover up his face from the pushback of the Saiyan's energy. But within seconds, the primal Saiyan's battle urge awakens in Vegito, as a smirk is revealed once he brings his arm down until suddenly. <laughs> Vegito 2 in unison then immediately transforms into his ultra form. His body surrounded in a thunderous aura. Wait, no, once he brings his arm down until suddenly. Then oh, immediately Vegeta. transforms into his ultra form. Okay. His body surrounded in a thunderous aura, now poignantly in the signature battle stance of Vegeta. And with a smirk on his face, he lets out finally. <laughs> you know, you might be just one god. I feel bad for killing. So be it, Vegeta. Be Show me what you can do. But that was it for today's video, guys. I don't think he's gonna kill him. I don't think he's gonna kill him. Don't think it's gonna happen, you know. Because you need him. You very much need him for the battle that is to come. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. I just know that he needs Gogeta, you know, and, and that he's going around basically making twins of, of everybody, every Vegeta and, Ve and Goku he meets, you know. He's making friends all around the, the multiverse, really. So, yeah, and and uh, I, I don't know how this is going to play out with Beerus now, you know. I, I kind of feel like it might end up going to where Beerus, Gogeta, and Vegeta will be friends. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, just, I just don't feel like he's going to kill him, bro. I don't feel like he's going to kill Gogeta or Beerus. I feel like they all going to make up and be friends in the end, you know. Maybe there's some bigger explanation, you feel me. And I mean, to be honest, like, 
Uh, well, no, nah, because like you know, a beer still chose your planet to 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 basically you know enslave, blow up, and then get a warrior from there. So it's kind of like it's still on beers, even though it is Xenophot, you know, because this well, I don't know if it's is it really Xenophot either, because they said that it's a ritual, you know, that the gods do, and they could be either speaking about the gods of destruction. Or they could be talking about Zeno as well, you know, with the Grand Priest and everything. But, you know, it's it's a tricky, it's a tricky, it's a it's slippery slope. There we go. Slippery slope. But, um, yeah. Another amazing episode, bro. Like, Ultra Vegeta is, is really picking up. Like, the storyline is getting real, real good. Like, they're getting deep. They're getting deep with this storyline, and I like it. So, um, yeah. Appreciate y'all for watching.